there, Dr. Ajay here. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't watched the video about summer health tips I made last week, uh, make sure you go watch that. I've given a ton of tips on how to stay healthy and comfortable during summer. The topic for today is tanning, what it is, how it became fashionable and why you should definitely avoid it. The term tanning literally means making your skin browner. You know, goes by the name of the color tan, right? In 1975, a Harvard uh, dermatologist, Dr. Fitzpatrick, developed a method to analyze and assess the risk of getting tanned and getting sunburned with exposure to UV light exposure. According to him, there are around like five or six categories. You don't need to worry about that. Basically, what it says is beginning with the first category, which is very pale, uh, say Northern European, Scandinavian people, very pale uh, skin co skin colors. They are much more likely to get sunburned but they are very less likely to get tanned. So you might have friends who are very fair and don't get tanned at all even though they are in the sun a lot. They might belong to this category. And at the last category or the fifth or the sixth category is the dark or the black people whose risk of getting sunburnt is less and also the risk of getting uh, tanned is very less because the amount of melanin in the skin is already quite high. But the Indian skin tone, which is somewhere in the middle, has a relatively lesser chance of getting sunburned, but has a very high chance of getting tanned. You see the shades that are very dark or very light have a lower chance of getting tanned, but the ones in the middle that's like uh, Latin American, Indian, Asian uh, complexion, they have a very high chance of getting tanned with exposure to UV light. So how did tanning become fashionable? You know, till 1910, 1920, having a darker skin was considered very unfashionable because it associated you with the lower societal class because these people were working out often and exposed to much more of sunlight. So women from the higher societal classes, they tried everything they can to avoid exposing to the sunlight, wearing uh, full sleeve dresses, holding an umbrella and all that. Then in the year 1903, Niels Finsen won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for discovering that sunlight therapy could uh, cure rickets. And this was huge back then because they didn't know that vitamin D deficiency caused rickets. So sun therapy was said to be the cure-all for everything starting from general fatigue to diseases like tuberculosis. In 1920, Coco Chanel went to holiday in the French Riviera. She got extremely sunburnt and tanned there. But when she got back to Paris, her sunburns had healed, but she was still tanned. And her skin, the bronze colored skin, became the new fad because it was Coco Chanel. But then uh, also there was another singer called Josephine Baker. She was said to have the skin the color of a caramel and you know, everyone adored her and they wanted to have skin like her. So cashing in on this, uh, the new fad started, that's sunbathing, right? But then people started to realize that, you know, when you sunbathe, like uh, a few parts of your body are not exposed and it gives that uh, ugly lines over your uh, upper chest. So uh, a guy called Jean Patou is a French businessman. He came up with the idea of using tan oils Basically, you just apply it on your skin everywhere and just lie down in the sun for some time and you get tanned, basically. Then in 1940s came the cream man tan. Uh, it was something that was supposed to give you a natural looking tan uh, without even having to go out in the sun. People started buying it like crazy, but then they started to realize that they didn't give them a tan colored skin, they gave them an orange colored skin. Someone has been still clearly using it. And in 1950, people started using metallic reflectors to shine more light on themselves. Then came the nudist beaches where people could lie down without any clothing so they don't have those dirty tan lines on them. And then uh, around in the 1980s, 1990s, a new concept called uh, tanning indoors came into existence. People were quite busy with their lives. They realized that they don't have time to you know, go out and uh, lie in the beach for uh, you know, say one or two days to get a good tan. And then that changed the game. People realized that they could, you know, just go to their tanning parlor across the street or something. It was cheap. They could just lie down there, um, you know, naked, nobody watching, hopefully. Uh, and they could uh, get a proper tan without having all those tan lines and all that. And they could do it like at a fraction of time that we could take under under the sun. But then uh, the doctors and scientists 
kind of realize that people have been using these tanning beds uh, tanning out in the sun a lot and the incidence of skin cancer is you know increasing so they did studies on you know to find out why this is happening and they realized that the uv light present in the sunlight and also in the tanning beds was a very big carcinogen so the frequent use of these tanning beds and uh, sunbathing was found to increase your risk of getting skin cancer especially melanoma which is a very aggressive form of skin cancer a person who uses tanning beds often has three times the increased risk of getting skin cancer in fact the amount of the time you spend under a tanning bed is proportional to the increased risk that you have for the skin cancer in fact the international agency for research on cancer places uv light and as an extension tanning as a very high risk carcinogen and also the world health organization the american cancer society and the united states surgeon general have placed uh, sunlight exposure tanning and uv light as one of the most common carcinogens prevalent in our uh, every day to day life so now you know what tanning is now you know how it became fashionable and why you should definitely avoid it i hope you liked it uh, please uh, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on videos when i post them till i see you again stay happy stay healthy bye bye